fan of dogs. I think that's clear at this point. They're all good boys and girls. And I love dogs that do jobs, but not just any job. Sometimes dogs can be trained to do things that I think probably they shouldn't. I have a great example of that. It's been profiled in the LA Times. The LA Times is following a bunch of different people, but they start off with Artyom Bulgadarian, who bought a home in Sherman Oaks and wanted to be very careful when it comes to security. So he apparently owns several guns, has equipped his 5,000 square foot six bedroom home, Jesus Christ, set behind an iron gate with surveillance cameras, an alarm system, no word yet on moat. A neighborhood watch group patrols the area around the clock, but that's not enough. They got Rocky. Rocky is an incredibly expensive guard dog. In this profile, the LA Times talks about a number of people who've been hiring these executive protection dogs which can cost up to $150,000 at the beginning. There's continuing costs and all that as we'll get to. So this particular dog, Rocky, was bought as a puppy from Delta K9 Academy, was signed up for a rigorous training program that cost $70,000. This individual said, what's the price that you would put for your family's security, especially when that particular house has been burglarized? His apparently had been burglarized when someone else lived in it before he moved there. $70,000, you amortize that over 10 to 15 years, whatever the dog's life is, who cares? And it's not that big of a price tag. Well, it's a $70,000 price tag, I think. You can say that it's over 10 years, but you're paying for it right now. So he clearly has the money for this. Let's let's be clear about that. If you can buy a dog like this, you got the 5,000 square foot home, he can afford it. So of course he's, he's free to do whatever he wants. But we are free to acknowledge that this is the world we're living in, where there are people with FU money that can live in their own personal castle with their super dogs that have been trained to kill that cost more than we'll make potentially in years in some cases. And those two things are happening at the same time. They're on their hill in their castle behind their moat with their dragon. And we're trying to scrape together a living out here. Jordan, what do you think? Living in that kind of fear must be so exhausting. Like it's just it sounds so tiring. Oh, I've got a I've got all this advanced security system, I've got an arsenal, I've got my high tech dog. That just sounds really <laughs> pathetic. Uh whatever. I do not a not a me problem, I guess. But I feel mm-hmm. bad for those dogs also. Because when they're put through that kind of training and they're purchased for that reason, they don't get the same life as a normal dog. And what 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 makes a dog happier than just like being outside, running around in a big field, playing fetch, being with people that love them, not working their entire life, you know, not being a tack dog? That's miserable. It really, it, it, it's tantamount to just animal cruelty. Give that yeah. dog a normal life. I get, look. I the th- the reason I want to cover this is it is just so perfectly emblematic of the different worlds that people live in. Like when you see like a profile of like, man, it is so hard to buy a yacht. There is a yacht shortage. There's so many rich people trying to buy yachts. When is it? When am I going to get my yacht? You realize, oh my God, there are people whose lives like they might as well live on Elysium. It like this is not this is not the life that we're living. And now when it comes to dogs, like it's again, he could get the dog. And by the way, rich people's houses do sometimes get broken into. That house had been broken into or whatever. And uh, so you're gonna you're gonna get the dog or whatever. And I, I don't know for sure what kind of life the dog has. Maybe the dog is happy. I don't know. It's just Jesus, man. The distribution of resources is so unequal. Their concerns are so different than ours. Their solutions are out of this world. Um and there's a lot of companies that are that are doing this. Like and, and many of them, the dogs are sixty thousand, a hundred thousand. One owner said, to be very blunt, our dogs that were born in 2022 are being sold at a price of $150,000. It's a coveted product. They're in Miami, they're on yachts, they're, if you can get one. They're in the Caribbean, they're in Canada, they're in Thailand. Uh, they apparently cater this one company, Harrison K9, to the upper three to 4% financially. Professional athletes, business moguls, Oscar winning actors, A-list celebrity couples, and the traditional affluent family. Oh, that traditional affluent family. So it's just this is out there, man. It's crazy. I thought 
I knew that you were gonna hate this, Jordan. Oh yeah, I, I do. I, everything yeah. about it. Every, it's every everything about it. this is a great, a great way yeah. to close. It's a great story and also great premise for a story or a screenplay because like if you think they love having a guard dog, if you could genetically modify some sort of guard beast, they would eat it up and then the beast would eat them up. And I'm gonna write that. It's coming out soon. Let me see if well, I can get someone to buy it. How long until they start getting, you know, some Boston Dynamics type robot dog with weapons attached? Like 100%. That's the, next, the next logical step, right? Okay, uh, that's now trademarked. So nobody yeah. touch either of those. John's if, upcoming book. <laughs> exactly. Screenplay, please. I want to make money on this. Sorry. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to be able to afford a cyber dog. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.